Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ultra Genesis. Last time we got the Hort's Nest and some other stuff. So now let's go ahead and uh... Well, we already explored these parts, so let's just go ahead. Uh oh, I have to face someone. Oh no, it's a manta ray thing! Oh god, why? Boom. Did that only do 26 damage, or did it do 260? I'm hoping it did 260, because if it did not, and just did a very miniature amount, I will be very disappointed. Yeah, telekinesis. I could technically do telekinesis again, and he'd be able to do his EX attack. But it doesn't matter, these guys aren't really worth an EX attack. Because he's dead. Yay! Target terminated. Only one person actually mentioned anything about the, um... Whether or not I should keep in the random battles. But I'm going to keep them in, because the one person who said something said yes. So, thank you, Zykox. Zykox. I don't know how to s pronounce your name, and I apologize. Let's see here, am I all good to go? Now I am. Let's go. Celia? <gasps> Aaron! Well, Hawk, seems like you've picked up some allies. Guess you got the advantage now. What happened to your comrades? Where's Dread and the cap-wearing youth? Heh. <laughs> I want to say they're planning an ambush on you guys from behind, but I'd only be bluffing. We got separated when that psychokinetic entity attacked us. So as, I, as you can see, I'm alone right now. Indeed. Then it would only be appropriate that I seize this chance to finish you off. Wait! Leon! How foolish. I will remind you that you were originally one of my targets. If you think our truce will protect you... No, that doesn't matter. But I won't let you lay a hand on her. Now I see what was meant earlier. So she's the dangerous girl you've been chasing after. Remove yourself from my line of fire. I won't ask again. What do you think you're doing? Oh boy. <laughs> Leon, don't be so naive. Right now I'm a part of Cougar's forces. In other words, we're on op op opposing sides. There's no need for you to defend me. Quite the opposite, in fact. No, even still, my decision won't change. Besides, there's a lot of things I want to ask you. I won't let anyone hurt you. Aw, oh, Leon's a cool, nice guy. Even betraying your friends. I, don't, I wouldn't call Hawk really a friend, but okay. I don't know whether to be pleased or annoyed. Forget it. Look, I'm sorely outnumbered, and the mission's already a failure anyway. I have no intentions of hindering your progress, so you will let me go this time. Pretty please with sugar on top. Only my word. <clears throat> no, never mind. It'll be unnecessary to take risk. If you will stand down this time, then I would likewise assure you of my cessation. I think that's how you pronounce that. This is burning my legs. Wait, Aaron. Look, Leon, I already told you. Stop getting involved with me. I'm the kind of person that will bring you down if you stay with me. Why do you keep saying that? What? Didn't you save all those people and stinks? The ones who couldn't fight for themselves? What about Indy? Where did Indy go, by the way? Oh, well. Didn't you take her in and care for her as your own child? You're wrong. I'm not like that. You even saved me as well. Twice. I don't know where you're aligned yourself with Cougar now. You might have your reasons, right? Must have. Stop it, Leon. That's what she's... Wait, no. Aaron, you've already seen it yourself what kind of person I am. Back then, you... Might have thought I killed all those people only to save you. That kind of massacre is typical for me. Second nature, even. Never mind, I was going to do, uh... Uh, what's his name? Uh, like, something ca- I, I don't know, the guy who's like, Heavens to Mercatroid! You're horrible, beautiful, even, or something, I don't know. I was going to do him, but I... I... Stumbled over my words. 
From when I first went to Stinks, killing others was a daily ritual for me. I'm a cold-blooded murderer that doesn't hesitate to take the lives of other human beings. And Blue's just smiling away back there. To say that someone like me could be on could be worthy of being redeemed, it's unforgivable. I'm sorry, but I don't deserve your faith. And I want to see your innocence corrupted by me. So please, don't follow me anymore. At least explain. Why have you sided with Fugger? That's... Hmm? Guys, hate to break into your lovey-dovey talk, but the ghost is back. Yay! Time to fight the ghost again. He was relatively easy last time, although apparently nothing we did do damage to him. But hey, whatever. Let's kick his butt. There's only one of him and three of us, right? We're super de duper powerful. Super de duper. Yeah, I'll do one more. Man, Blue's like really bad compared to these guys because his EX goes up way slower and. Like, see, they're both all ready to, ready to use EX, and he's not even halfway there. Only halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway... Dead. Doom. And this isn't doing as much damage as it used to. I'm disappointed. That does a lot, though. Oh, Leon. Okay. Revivant. Alright, good. I thought he was about to attack Leon again. I was like, God damn it, I just saved his ass. Got to do some healing. And now Hawk will start to actually attack, so we can bring up his EX. Jesus Christ, okay. Use Stimulant again. Hey look, more EX. Woo! It's basically what the battles boil down to, but hey, I don't know. How else are you going to play an RPG? Just attack until you can use your most powerful attack and then use it, and then continue to do that over and over and over and over again. That's how these games work. And this is why I don't normally play that many R Let's Play that many RPGs. I do love RPGs. I actually bought Dragon Warrior 3 the other day. Great, great game. Definitely, definitely suggest it. For the uh, NES, by the way, not for like the Game Boy. I mean, the Game Boy one is great too. Damn you line. But oh hey. See, Leon basically did nothing. Whatever. Persistent bastard. Aaron? Leon, we can talk when we get somewhere safe. For now, I'll help you out. Oh, so you're with us now? Cool. Hear that, Hawk? Aaron's on our side now. I heard. I won't question your motives, but your assistant will be appreciated. Assistance. I see, so you're searching for her sake. If we keep going forward from here, there's a second section of lab rooms that'll come up. We might be able to learn something about Celia's origin there. Alright, do we need any healing? Yes. Yes, we do. Alright. Let's continue. Now, Leon is the weak guy. But I think he needs to be in the group. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to keep him in anyway. Oh, well, great. We just wasted four stimulants. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? Um... Okay, don't question it. It makes perfect nonsense. Gear? What do you got? Oh, that's just that kind of stuff. Huh. That's pretty damn expensive. Um... Eh, nothing. Later, Reeves.
another set of lab rooms. Hey, look. Onslaught. What's this do? Uh, instant AP is 7, and AP per round is 6. Jesus. Holy guacamole. Well, I think I'm going to switch to that, although it definitely decreases m all my stats uh, by, like, 10-ish. I'm going to put it on. Because everyone else has a... well, he doesn't. But never mind. Let's see here. Anything you could use? I actually kind of like yours, so I'm going to keep yours on for right now. Let's see, what's this? Zero system. It's a zero system. Zero to hundred percent dependent on less HP. The less HP you have, the more damage it does. And I like to have more HP, so no thank you. Come on up and go this way. Hey look, more loud logs. Lags. Yeah. Derivative of Super Soldier Project. The Jackal Project. Interesting. Combinations of red juice and mind smile causes mutations in patient, creating heightened intelligence and strength. Side effect of improvements in tolerance to psychonetic waves. Goal, create jackal, psychonetic bioentity to be developed for warfare. Warning, overdose causes retardation and reversion to primal instincts, but will retain high level of muscle growth. Overdose patients are highly dangerous and must be treated with caution, termed as fallen. When conducting experiments with this ID tag, armed security forces must be present at all times. Let's raise the jackal chamber. Alright. Now we know who the fallen are. Those things we've been facing, you know, the the black guys. I know that sounds weird, but they are the fallen. No, oh, we have to fight something. Okay. That's that's their like, you know, actual term. Is what they go by is the fallen. So my guess is that they are technically, you know, the overdosed peoples from the radiation that caused all the mutations. It's pretty cool. This guy is not dead. He will be soon. You know what? I want to use it. Go ahead and guard. You are so boned. He, he even has mind crush. Let's see how much damage he does. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Dead. <laughs> a lot. I love a lot. He's so cute. Alright, well I raised the chamber. I don't know what the hell that did. Hi, Reeves. Thanks for taking care of that random encounter for me. Celia, do not venture too far without my escort. Man, does this guy ever talk normally? Huh? What's that over there? She doesn't look very happy. This wasn't here before. You think it's alive? Hey, Leon, go over and poke it or something. I refuse. You finally made it. What the? It's talking inside of my head. I need to use a cool voice for this. Yes, it was I who called you. I'm Batman. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> yeah. No, I'm not doing that. I thank you for making the journey. I'm sorry, but there's very little time. I will have you awaken now. Oh god, she's so super saiyan or something, I don't know. What the... what just happened? Celia? Uh... Oh hey, she can talk. Take your time. It will come back to you, little by little. 
This creature. I feel like I've felt it before, or seen it before. Hey, explain what's going on. Who are you? Or more like, what are you? Now is not the time. They are coming. What? Oh, God. That's far enough, Hawk. Tarnation. Cougar's forces. Tarnation? They were alerted by light. Tar <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Who says that? Now's not the time. Aaron, what is the meaning of this? It's exactly as it looks. I've suspended my affiliation with the special operations. I'm with them now. Yay, I see. Well, it's your decision. But will it be alright for you to die here? You have a child back home. Oh, that's where Andy is. Okay. Who says I'm going to die in a place like this? You're 1,000 years too early to take me on. You're light years away from facing Brock. Great, you hold them off and we'll make a break for it. <laughs> okay, okay, I kid. Stop joking around in important times, goddammit. Whatever. Ooh, cool. Cool music. I'm turning this up. Okay. Um. Oh, there we go. I didn't actually click into it. Now we're just fighting a bunch of goons. Which are pretty pathetic. I don't remember being this kick-ass when I played this originally. Oh, EX Brush. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, poor Scott didn't get to use his EX attack. And Jackal's just sitting there, he's just like, oh, hi, what's up? More goons. Just an endurance round, I suppose. Jackal's a pretty cool guy in this one. In the last one, he was more of a dick, but hey, whatever. He's, he didn't seem bad, he was just like, hey, I'll help you out, why not? Then again, we know absolutely nothing about him so far, so hey, what do I know? I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, this music is really good. Neok always... I'm, I'm gonna call, keep calling him Neok, whatever. He always has really, really, really good music in his games. I will continuously say that. I will, I love this music. I would put it on my iPod. I don't know why I haven't. I think it's because I don't have enough room. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of room on my iPod. My iPod's really small. Oh, hey, there's red. Oh, and, and there's, uh, orange. What's his name? Kyle? Something weird like that. I'm going to kill the goons first, then I'll focus on Dread. Ugh, because Dread does the most damage, of course. Alright. He's going to need to heal up soon. <laughs> Of course, they all focus on him. Uh, where is it? Revive an A. Someone's playing guitar in, like, the room next to me. I don't know. Sounds like it. Sounds like it's close by acoustic guitar. This will definitely take care of the goon. And also do a bit of damage. Wow, it did not take care of the goon. Yeah, I'll use this to sting on A. Let's see here now. Okay, fine. You will focus on Dread. 
that dude is almost dead. <laughs> Run. I'll have uh, Leon take care of him. Well, the, the goon, not uh, Dread. What was that? I don't know. Just kill him, please. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh. Oh, you dick munch. God damn it, Orange. I don't know what your actual name is in this one. <laughs> there we go, thank you. Ow. Okay, everyone is seriously injured. I'm healing up. That would be why. Should have used the stimulant B, I have enough. You know what? Fine. I'm focusing on orange. He's actually doing quite a bit of uh, attack, because he uses, like, status effects and stuff, as opposed to Dread, who's just plain out attack, and I can easily take care of that. Plus, it automatically focuses on him, and I don't want to... Come on, you're shooting right through Dread. Although he has serious defense, it's ridiculous. He's a little kid, for God's sake. Oh, I can't use telekinesis. Oh, it's because I'm already uh, set up. Okay. I really should have healed. Then E. Then E. There we go, now he will telekinesis up, and use his, uh, EX. There we go. Quit missing, Blue. Whatever. I just want you to use your EX. Your EX is amazing, it's ridiculously powerful. So is, uh, Hawks, though, as we will hopefully soon see. Yep. Pretty powerful. Wow, these guys have ridiculous health. Wow, that did no damage. <laughs> no. Use a stimulant. X. Come on, you've done this like three times on him now. <laughs> it's, it's just, it, it makes no sense. He's, he's doing ridiculous attacks against these guys. And, oh, Hawk. Okay, fine. Scott, you will revive Hawk, and Leon will use his attack. All works out. Thankfully, we have a crap ton of revivings. Because I'm kind of rich. I say kind of because I'm not. Otherwise, I would have bought that uh, those boosters. Okay, good. He's making a tactical retreat. He just fainted. It's okay. He's not actually dead. Pokemon can't die. So. Don't be silly. EX attack again. Jeez, Scott just deals out the EX attacks. It's ridiculous. So does Hawk, really. They both, like, within three or four turns can do an EX attack. Leon takes, like, ten if I don't have him heal, which I do a lot, so, uh, much less. Ooh. At least he didn't attack, uh, Leon. I mean, Scott, excuse me. Although, he doesn't do a lot of damage now with his EX attack, I've noticed that. Like, before he was doing a lot, it was like 500 each shot instead of 200.
But then again, Dredd, you know, he's a pretty, he's a, he, he's a tank. He's a pretty big tank. Okay, good. You did not hit Scott. Thank you for being dumb AI. You guys ready for another EX round? Are you folks ready for the Cinder Apocalypse? You aren't? Oh, never mind. Anyway. If this if if Hawk's EX doesn't kill him, then Leon's most likely will. And if he doesn't, then goddamn dread. Like there we go. Thank you. Aw, oh, poor Leon, only used one EX. As opposed to, like, Scott's a billion. And Hawk's, like, six. God, there's no end to this. Are they mass-producing these guys somewhere? Scott, at this rate... That's what she said. Yeah, I know. Hey, Funky Pop... Funky Pop? Oh, I'm guessing he's talking to Hawk. Can't you do anything about this? We're all your dudes. They won't be able to reach us in time. This is a miscalculating on my part. You're useless! He's not. He was doing insane amounts of damage. More than you. Enough. You will not harm this child. Damn. That creature's on their side? Hey, hey, hey. Why didn't you just do that from the beginning? <laughs> She's detected me. Time's running out. Listen carefully. This girl is the key to saving these lands. Guard her with the utmost care. She falls in the cougar's grasp. Then all will be for naught. This is not the first time we have met. I'm glad to see you are well. Do you know who I am? I'm sorry, there's no time to explain. Listen carefully. Metal Gear, you mustn't be fooled. Cougar is not to blame for these circumstances. He is but a pawn. What do you mean? There is one who is controlling everything from the shadows. She is who you should be aware of. No! Why is there a foot in the top left? I just realized it. Oh, jeez. Why is there a foot in the top left? <laughs> Ugh, what was that? For a moment, I saw someone appear there. Hmm, I wonder. Who could that be? Aaron. Are you guys alright? Yeah, we're still kicking. No sign of Violet or the old man, though. Oh, no, Violet. We fell a really long way. That jackal said it knew me. Was Palace where I lived years ago? And what did that jackal mean? Father isn't the one causing all this. Interesting. The plot, it thickens. Do you think they survived? Who cares? We got what we came for, and a little extra. But I'm surprised. Even for Stink's escapees, they're surprisingly able fighters. Suspected of Hawk and Aaron, but the other three. I don't think they learned the kind of tactics on the street. That level is something close to what we're accustomed to. Well, of course, you're the exception when it comes to insane battle prowess. Still, I think I might do some investigating once we get back. Foot in the top left for no reason. Sure, let's say. Oh boy, a 30 minute episode. Like over battle all over again. Phase four, Saris two. Now this is where it's a hundred percent blind for me. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. So let's continue. Why so quiet? Didn't you have something to ask me? Please explain everything. 
Well, after the Rebellion's attack on Stinks, a lot of the essential key points in the system's operation were shut down. Right now, Stinks is no longer operational, and its inmates have been transferred to a separate holding facility. Because of my reputation, I was offered the chance to enlist in the Cougar Special Operations Unit. I accepted, on the condition that Indy came with me. In any case, there were no longer any means to my staying in prison. But why? Isn't Cougar the one who's caused everyone to suffer? I don't believe in his ways either, but to provide a better future for Indy, I can only do what I can. Of course. I'm not powerful enough to change society. All I'm good at is killing people. You're still saying that. Don't get me wrong, I don't like killing others. I just have to! It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy! It's just I've become accustomed to doing so in order to survive. What will you do now? Will you stay here? No, I'll go with you. You're returning to Saris, right? Wait, won't they go after Indy now that you've left them? Jake might have said all that, but I don't think they'd stoop to using a child. In any case, even if they do, I've already made preparations for Indy to go to a safe place in the event that she doesn't hear from me regularly. It's alright, she's a smart girl. I taught her after all. Plus she's a main character, so she can't die. Right? Right? I have no idea she does not. We're back! Welcome back. We're Celia. Ugh, let me just say this now. You're spending so many hours with her, I'm appreciating Violet a whole lot more. Why? Um, oh boy. Hey, yo. <laughs> See what I tell you, they're speechless. My fashion sense is impeccable, even with this dumb looking hat. Missy, please don't insult the hat that I scavenged from way across town since none of the ones before it suited your ridiculous standards. Well, even if you hadn't a good taste in hats, we should have had a- we wouldn't have had to wander across town to find this one. Well, I guess I shouldn't expect anything resembling good taste from someone who wears such tacky shades. I like those shades. The sunglasses are not tacky. Terezi is not pleased. Oops. Trying to come up with her name. Anyway, you've already taken my pride and self-respect. At least spare the goddamn sunglasses. Is this, is this really the same girl? Believe it or not. Yeah, about the hat. It's supposed to hide her horns, so we'd better hunt down a big one. Which really shouldn't have taken so long, except Miss Picky here wouldn't sell for anything shoddy or untasteful. Frankly, by the time we got to the 7th Mall, I was thinking we should just chop that horn off and save us all the trouble. Why do you say something like that? Want me to chop off your horn? I don't have a... Okay, just stay 10 feet away from me from now on. No, make that 15. This is really unexpected. She's like an entirely different person now compared to before. Oh, you mean when I was all meek and muggly? Nah, that's because of the mind lock I had on me. It stifles my thinking and makes it so I can't really communicate in any way. Is this really black? Like, again, I, I, all, everything from this is blind. So I don't know if this is... I'm guessing it's black from the old game, but, you know. It stifles my thinking and makes it so I can't really communicate in any way, with the unfortunate side effect of reducing my personality to a mindless doll. Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. Why do you have something like that placed on you? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? What? Why would Leon know? Well, shouldn't he? After all, he's the one who brought me to this world. By the way, your pilot's useless. How could he look at a shot down like that? What? Wait, hey, do you know who Leon is? Huh? Yeah, he's Leon. No, I mean his past. Do you know where he originally came from? No? Why? Doesn't he know? Leon had his memory erased. He can't remember anything of his life before about a month back. It's not like I've been around him that long either. Can't remember that well ever since I had that mind lock placed on me. Just that Leon was the one who picked me up from somewhere. Then we were flying, but got shot down and some soldiers captured us. Go ahead, I'll hold them here. Remember, we have to get her back home. Don't remember, don't live the... Don't forget our mission here. But, Gray, what about you? I'll be fine. A lot of people are counting on us. Okay, Leon? It's up to you now. Leon? No, I still don't remember anything. You do? You just remembered Gray. And he's awesome. How could you not remember Gray? Even without... Even... But don't blame it on me. I may be a genius, but even I can't tell you about people I don't know. 
Anyways, what can you do is that not only am I smart and cute, but I got a pretty mean laser. Wanna see? No, 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 no. Do not take her up on this. Don't make the same mistake I did. Look, see how my eyebrows are singed over here? I'll take a week to grow back. Okay, putting all that aside, what was that jackal talking about when it said you were the key? I don't know. Probably just men on the chosen one or something. It's only natural for someone as perfect as me at I want to smack this girl. I'm starting to see why Scott had so much trouble. You don't know the half of it. Hey. Oh, what's up, bud? You know you were looking for that girl you were with earlier? Violet? Yeah, someone spotted her and an elderly looking man being taken away by those soldiers earlier. Seriously? Alright, she's not dead. No captured isn't that much better, but it's still better than being dead. Thanks, man. Here's some for your troubles. Okay, what, what do we give them? Whatever. What's the plan? We're going to bust them out? I'm ready anytime. You are staying here. Right, I'll stay... Wait a minute, what? You're not coming with us. Don't you remember what the jackal said when he removed your mind lock? If we bring you with us, it'll only increase the risk of you being captured by Cougar. Hey, come on, you can't be serious. How can you make the chosen one sit around with you and have all the fun? Well, that's what it meant to be. That's what it means to be the chosen one, whatever that means. Anyway, we're not going. We're, we are not going to have fun. This is a dangerous. Excuse me. <laughs> this is a dangerous mission. Not a happy-go-lucky romp around where ragtag band of adventuring youths save the world from the evil empire. Yes, yes. Just you know that as well as any of us. Just stay put, all right? All right, all right. I got it already. Just party poopers. You handled that well. I learned from raising Indy. Next destination, Sarah City. Man, we just got here, too. Time to head back. Alright, I do believe that is about it. Let's talk to them. Alright, guys, so we move fast. We can make it to Sarah City by late evening. By the way, I've mean, been meaning to ask you. You fight really well. Where'd you learn? Um, on the streets. Really? That's impressive. Well, it's a hard knocks life. You gotta do what you can to survive, right? It's lucky because Violet was with me, and we always watched out over each other. Her and... and? No, never mind. Forget I said anything. Anyway, maybe you should talk to Leon. I think he's brooding. What? If you want to talk, that's fine with me. I don't mind. See? Normally you just glare at me and be all dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. <laughs> and all we have is... Leon, Scott, and Aaron. I thought maybe we'd have, uh, what's-her-face, but nope. We just have Leon, Scott, and Aaron. No more Hawk. So sad. He was actually a really good guy, too. Like, really good as in, like, attacking-wise. He's more of a dick in- whoops, did not mean to do that. He's more of a dick in this version, but anyway. Thank you all for watching this nearly 40-minute long episode. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Ultra Halo Genesis. I am going to go eat, because I am hungry. See you all then.